Today I've got, I think, a pretty decent palette. But following up from last Saturday's electronics palette, which was just phenomenal, that was one of the best palettes you've ever seen on this YouTube channel. Maybe one of the best you've seen on YouTube, period, for the price point that I paid in the MSRP. That was fantastic. So hopefully this one is just as good. Who knows? But anyway, what we got today is a hodgepodge. That's what I call it. It's just a mixture of anything and everything could be in these five boxes on one palette. The total MSRP, Amazon.com, a full value if everything was sold as brand new. But it's not as customer returns. Full value, $1,511. So not a bad price point really, you know? But of course, a lot of these items will be used. So $1,500 is the new value, customer return value. Hopefully it's half of that, three quarters at most. We can hope, but my price, all I paid, taxes, fees, 10% uh, premium, everything, $129.47. That's it. So people always say, how's that possible? What about shipping costs? I don't pay shipping costs. I buy locally. Always buy locally. Because shipping on these five boxes, I calculated it. If I would have paid shipping, it would have been $264.14 in shipping charges. Pretty big difference, right? So that was actually a little bit over double the price in shipping. That's why you just, you can't pay shipping on liquidation pallets because that just insanely cuts into your profit so try to buy locally if all possible. But if you can't, you know, try to work your magic. So everything you see will be sold on the normal dot-com platforms. And uh, I sell a lot of stuff in person, a lot of stuff to subscribers, and a lot of items fluctuates on price depending on the platform. So here we go, first thing. It comes in Amazon. Uh, frustration free packaging and it has been retaped it is not a factory tape job you can tell that it's been opened up one time prior so I'm okay with opening up the second resealing job oh what is this look at that Victrola if you know Victrola you know this is a record player how awesome. Victrola in the brand new box. Holy crap. And it's still factory sealed. It still has the original Victrola factory seal on the box. This is nice. Victrola Bluetooth turntable, three speed turntable, Bluetooth connectivity, stereo speakers. That's that's really nice. That is really nice. I'll take that thing in a heartbeat. The bottom is also still has this factory seal on the bottom right here. So it has been opened up on either side. So this is 100% factory sealed. First item, it's fantastic. So uh, this has got to be at least probably what, 60 bucks I bet. So all prices that I quote originally, I'm just guesstimating based on my previous experience pallet flipping, but I will update below down here with more accurate pricing whenever I edit this video. So that's probably around 60 or so. But yeah, that's fantastic. That's how you start a pallet video right there. So next, oh, it said this thing in, in here is a Black & Decker drip coffee maker. If this thing's used, it's going to be impossible to sell. Well, not impossible, but very hard to sell. So you got an upside down coffee maker. Oh, we've got little black pieces of plastic falling out of the box. So you can already say that this thing, oh, more broken plastic pieces. So yeah, this thing, 
Yeah, this thing's broken. That's broken. So, the uh, item number two, no good. Might be able to part off maybe some small pieces of it, but the value of the thing is so low, it's really not even worth it. So, keep going. Next, a little tiny speaker. We've got a Alltech Lansing Mini H2 Rugged Bluetooth speaker. That is ultra cool. Waterproof, sandproof, everything proof. Floats in water. Okay. Mini H2. That's gotta be like what? It can't be too expensive. 20, 30 bucks I bet. Cause it's not factory sealed. Somebody just took tape and they just taped it back up. It's probably 20, 30 bucks, you know. But I'll update below, more accurate pricing on that item. Then, oh, very, very heavily used Moan 1200 single handle faucet brass replacement cartridge. It has water and mold and all kinds of nastiness. So that, wow, that is, so somebody bought a new one. They installed the new one. They put their old one into the package and returned it to Amazon, got their money back. So yeah, that's, that's just trash. What is this? This is just Amazon's poly bag that they put a lot of stuff in. Just a random piece of something. Hmm. I'm not sure. Keep moving. But then we have a Factory sealed. It still has the seal on both sides of it. That oh, three, four, all four factory seals on the Weber I Grill Three. I haven't gotten this item for several months. I used to get these last fall. I got so many of these things, and they sell like that, like crazy. Uh, I was most of them I got was used, and I think I was going for like. 30 or so bucks used condition, but this one is still factory seal, has not even been opened up yet. Maybe like 40 bucks or so? That might be low. I don't know, but it's brand new. I'll update below, more accurate pricing. And then, but yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Ugh, a heavily used, looks like, Farberware, like a steamer, coffee pot. It's very heavily used. Something like this, honestly, I'll just sell like in person. Just a matter of dollars, not very much. That's that's a really hard sell. Then we got a outdoor six outlet yard steak with built-in timer. Loose packaging. Brand is Woods. I've never sold this. Amazon actually did not cover up the UPC on this item, so I can quickly actually look this up on Amazon to see what kind of prices this thing has. Uh, so we can find out in just a second. So, oh, this thing's cheap. It only sells brand new for 13 bucks on Amazon. That is all it sells for. So, open package item, loose. Honestly, it's like five bucks. So, that's it, that's the first box. First box is fantastic. Brand new Victrola record player, a Weber i3 grill heat monitor thing. Those two things alone are fantastic. So, let's go. Box number two, be right back. Number two. Hopefully this thing keeps going as well as the first one did, because uh, first box was good for a hodgepodge. Of course, hodgepodge pallets are always really good pallets though. Because if you watch it on this channel, you know that hodgepodge pallets can be very profitable at times. So, I'm seeing in this box, I'm seeing lots of clothes, fabricy stuff. So, first thing, yeah, we got some brand new Stride Line Georgia Tech. Looks like what crew socks. 
Yeah. 15 bucks, I bet. It's not bad. <laughs> Socks. So then, keep on cruising. And of course, we've got to have something that's strange. Open up this poly bag, because I don't know what this thing is, just looking at it. Smells weird. Switching power supply. So was that for a computer maybe? Some obviously it's for some kind of electrical appliance or computer. It smells almost like burnt. And it's also it's kind of crunched too. So honestly, this thing, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna sell it. A power supply that obviously looks compromised in terms of structure and it has an unusual smell to it. When I opened up the poly bag, it just smelled off. You know what I'm saying? It's like that thing. I'm not going to sell it. I'm not, I'm not going to chance that. Certain things you just don't want to sell. Trust me. You sell that, it starts a fire or something. You can be liable for that. Next, we have a little tiny picture frame brand new it's very very small so it honestly cannot sell for very much five bucks I bet but new can't be new I love new oh it looks like this is a bathroom rug with kind of like a a safari kind of a print to it like a leopard print or something like a bathroom rug yeah, like five bucks on that. Then we've got a big, yeah, it's just kind of like a like a quilt, like your grandma's quilt. Cool pattern on it. So like this can be a hard sell at times. Oh, <sighs> but. Like this is something that I would sell in person. You could Craigslist this, offer up. You could do multiple in-person kind of a things. But uh, like I, I'm gonna try to get like 20 bucks back because I mean it's nice. It feels heavy duty. But yeah, that's things like that are kind of hard to sell. And then we've got. Oh, this looks like a sweater, or a, a hoodie. You can see the sleeves on it. White, looks like a gray hoodie with a white inner liner and it's used because there's hairs on it and there's dirt and stuff. Yeah, that's just, that actually might go into my donation stack. Let's see, what we got? Ur power. U R P O W R. Ur power. Is this one of those diffuser things? What's it called? Like you put the oils in and like it shoots it out. It's actually probably what this thing is. I bet. Like an oil diffuser. Prop up. Disregard what I just said. Because the bottom of this thing is. Broken. There's a huge gaping hole in the entire bottom of it. So, yeah, I'm not trash. Liquidations, like you will get trash. You will get broken stuff. That's all part of the liquidation business. Even though things like that, Amazon is supposed to liquidate that stuff as salvage, not customer returns, because Amazon does have two classifications of liquidations there's custom returns and then there's salvage stuff like that's supposed to be salvage so as a salvage like pallet flipper i know i'm getting stuff that's probably going to be broken that might have to piece out part out you know but you get salvage usually really really cheap but yeah that should have gone salvage a little tiny piece of metal whatever next Okay, we're getting to like mystery boxes now. 
What is... Oh, it's a door handle. Okay. Yeah, it's new. No scratches, has not been installed yet. It's a door handle set. Antique kind of finish. All the locks. What's the brand, I wonder? It might be just like an Amazon branded generic door handle set. I don't see anything. Do not see a brand on the instructions unless I'm totally blind. But I had LASIK done, so I don't see a brand. Anyway, door handle set, maybe like 20 bucks or so on that. Guesstimating. Two things left in this box. What is in this? Okay. I have no clue with that. Sometimes you can kind of guesstimate what the sound is. I don't know what... The, I see the word slime. What in the world? This is what I'm looking at. So it's a, a case of twist and slime. So it's little balls of like slime putty balls. Wow. There's probably... There's probably supposed to be two dozen there, I bet, but there's not. There's probably like 20 in there. All different colors of little slime balls. That's an in-person kind of sale right there. Probably try to get like 50 cents a piece, the whole box. If I can sell them for 50 cents a piece, maybe 10 bucks. <laughs> Maybe. Then we've got pull up an upper body workout bar. Okay, so this is the kind of bar that you put into your doorway, like your doorway frame, like a pull up bar kind of a thing, you know what I'm saying? Like we used to see. So I'm gonna have to make sure all the parts are there. And something like this is not it's not very expensive. It's like 15 bucks ish. So that's it for box two. I mean box up and be right back with box number three. Number three, here we go. We're cruising along in this video. These boxes, seems like there's lots of boxes in this, five, but most boxes, it's like larger stuff in them. There's not like a whole bunch of like little smalls. Ooh, what is that? Jack Skellington Resin Bust, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. Oh, he sounds broken. Come on, Jack. This would have been an easy, easy item to sell, but I can hear loose pieces inside this box. Oh, it's numbered out of 3,000 too. It is Tim Burns Nightmare for Christmas Certificate Authenticity. This is an authentic Diamond Select Toys and Collectibles. Jack Skeleton Resin Bust, number 315 out of 3,000. It is hand numbered also, number 315. So here's number 315 that got liquidated, but it does not sound like it's in one piece. Oh yeah, he's he's in bad shape. Parts of his arm is missing. Like looks like yeah. Part of his arm's missing. And he's broken off the base. Here's looks like a part of a section. <laughs> Here's a section of him. Man, that stinks. There's Loose pieces, like pieces of his arms. More pieces of his arms. Here's the base. Inside the base package, there's all kinds of loose pieces. Man, that stinks. Because I bet you this thing was probably kind of expensive. 
I guarantee it. They only made 3,000 of them. This is numbered number 315 out of only 3,000 made. But yeah, this thing is some... I mean, you could probably glue all the broken pieces back on and make it look decent. But, man. So, if there's any Jack Skellington, Nightmare Before Christmas, Disney people who watch this video... Um... Hold on, let me look up the value of this. I'll, I'll be right back. Hold on. Save that thought. Well, it only sells new for about $40. New condition. Not expensive as I thought it, it, it would probably be. So, in this condition, kind of broken. I mean, man. If you're a Jack Skellington collector and you want this, hit me up. And... All you need to do is just pay me sh actual shipping charges and you can buy this. How's that sound? Because, like, I really can't even sell this thing. But to a collector who wants to attempt to fix this as part of their Disney collection or their Nightmare on, uh, or Nightmare Before Christmas collection. A limited 3,000 piece. If you want to buy this, just honestly, just pay actual shipping costs to your location and it's yours. And see if you can salvage this thing because it's nice and it kind of stinks that it's broken, but it needs, I don't know. It, anybody wants it, hit me up. Let me know your zip code and I'll tell you what your shipping cost will be. And then you decide if you want to pay that shipping cost or not. So. That stinks. We got a replacement hose for a vacuum. That's like five bucks. I got that white box fuzz from Jack all over the place now. Then we have a fun new pot. Yes. More than likely, it will also be it'll also be used. Let me get out my handy dandy camera, or camera, flashlight. Oh yeah, that's used. I'm just looking down <laughs> the inside of the box. Yeah, that's used. So a used fondue set, honestly, not much money. Probably no more than about five bucks on that. Not very much. We have a dimmable LED Philips light, two pack. I have to try these out, make sure they they're not broken. Packaging looks really good on them still, so it doesn't look like they were used and abused or thrown around or anything. So, if these things are good to go, this might be like 15, 20 bucks maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure, I'll update below. A thermos, hot, cold thing. New or used. If it's used, sometimes people leave treats in these for you. Oh, that's still new. Yeah, that hasn't been used yet. So, Thermos brand. Uh, you could put soup in this. You could put all kinds of liquids. Genuine Thermos, 24 ounce, 14 hours hot, 24 hours cold. And actually, right there's the barcode. Scan that real quick. Find out price, because I'm not 100% sure. And the UPC is not covered up. So, sales new on Amazon for $19 new on Amazon. So like me personally, like I could do like $15 shipped price on this. Cause I could ship this for pretty cheap because it doesn't weigh much. 15 shipped. A lot of these though, a lot of these items, the price I quote does not include shipping. Big box items, I gotta charge shipping. Stuff like this though, it doesn't matter on what platform I sell it on. Something like this though, you know, it, it would cost me like four bucks to ship. Not very much because it's so light. But something like, you know, this item that weighs three pounds, four pounds. This might, if I ship out west of California, this might cost me between $15, $18 in just shipping costs. Just shipping. So obviously I, I, I got to charge shipping for something like this. Plus, you know, the price of the item. So, you know. 
Beway Oventi cooktop. Great for camping, great for college dorm rooms if they allow these in your dorm rooms. Sometimes they don't. But yeah, this is like, oh, $15 or so. Last thing, box number three. Oh, I'm keeping this. I can smell it too. One of these might be busted. I can smell it. Oh, I can really smell it. Wow. Wow, that is so strong. Okay, so we've got an entire case of Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day 12.5 ounce liquid hand soap lavender. And it looks like one of them did leak in the box. So this box just reeks of lavender beyond belief. But I will be keeping this box of hand soap because why would I sell a hand soap when I can just use it around the house? So, yeah. Box three, that's done. We box this up, we'll be right back with box number four. Number four, here we go. First three. Ah, oh, come on, knife. The first three weren't too bad. Still the best things were box number one, the record player and that i3 grill. So, got this box and one more. You never know what we might get out. That's the mystery factor. Here we go. First thing, and it's huge. We have a pillow. A Mediflow water-based pillow. This support pillow clinically shown improved quality of sleep. Reduce. Do you put water in this? Are you serious? I've never seen this. Huh, okay. Simply fill the water base as directed, adjusting the amount of water to the degree of support. You yeah, you actually put water in this pillow. Wow, I'd never have sold this pillow before. Well, it kind of stinks. If this pillow leaks during the night, you're going to have a wet bed. And then you can blame your partner or your spouse or your friend or whoever. Tell them that they wet the bed. So, yeah. It could be a fun uh, conversation whenever you wake up the next day. Blame whoever wet the bed, but it was the pillow the whole time. Yeah, I don't know how much this might cost. A water-based pillow. I don't know. I'll, I'll update below. I don't even want to guess on that. I have no clue. No clue on that. And we have Chapin. Oh, it's like this spray pump for weeds and stuff. Little container. This thing I sell like two, two, three dollars. Not very much. High performance soldering iron. Coo. Cool. Still new in the package, but a soldering iron that can't be too expensive though, right? I don't get too many soldering irons, but being a hodgepodge pallet, I mean, you've seen in this pallet, you've seen clothes. You've seen water-based pillows. You've seen record players. You've seen, what else? Hand soap? Anything. So why not a soldering iron, right? Maybe like 10 bucks on that? Maybe? I'm not, I'm honestly not too sure. Ooh, a Furminator. Factory sealed Furminator. Long hair de-shedding tool. The long hair Furminator. Meant for a big dog with long hair. This is probably good 15, 20 bucks at least right here. So that is awesome. Factory sealed. And then we have a Peltor hearing protector. Sounds very loose in the packaging. So let's check this thing out. I've already got plenty of hearing protectors for my ears, like whenever I go to the gun range. So I don't need any more hearing protectors for myself. This actually connects to something. Oh, I guess these are replacement earmuffs, it looks like, because it connects to... It can connect to your hard hat or something. It can connect to your hard hat. Actually, yeah, it does. It connects to your hard hat. So I guess if you have a specialized 3M hard hat, it just connects to the side. Okay, cool. That's probably good. 15 bucks right there. Maybe as high as 20. So 
Yeah, these are meant for construction. Okay. Next, oh, we got another one. Two of those. Two of these Peltors. So I'm guessing this probably these probably 15 bucks a piece. Times two. Looks like we got a shaker bottle here. 16 ounce shaker bottle, got glass shaker bottle. Brand is Elo. A little mixer inside the bottle. So something like that. Like I wouldn't sell for a whole lot because it does look used on the inside. It's clean, but it looks like it's just been used and washed. So I like I'd probably oh, but the that part's broken. That part is broken. That's why they they returned it. Because they broke it whenever they, they used it the first time. I just sell for a few bucks now. But last thing, DeLonghi. We've got a vertical young fan heater. That's a good item. Haven't received this one for a long time in a pallet. With winter wrapping up, I gotta sell this thing quickly as possible. But yeah, it looks looks lightly used let the try to make sure it works because it might not you never know it could have gotten burnt up during a very very cold night or something but yeah if it works like i'd probably sell for like 15 bucks or so but let me box this stuff up be right back with the last box box number five right back number five last one so far i mean this palette has been bad it's been a very hodgepodge though right We've gotten almost everything that you can think of. Only thing we haven't received yet has been diapers and dog food, I think. So, more big box stuff in this. Lots of big items. Has been very much small stuff. So, we have a package of, looks like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe about 10 electric candles. Flameless, like, LED candles. Here's the remote form to to control it. So that's that's probably good. 20, 30 bucks, I bet. For all those, that's cool. We got a shelf pen jig. Okay. I've never seen this before in a palette. The easy, accurate, repeatable way to create adjustable shelves. Awesome. So it's been opened up, yes. Amazon warehouse deals use their tape to tape it shut again. Probably just because the packaging came loose, so they just wanted to seal it shut. But you know, that could be a good 10 bucks or so. And we've got 50 feet of What is this? Just wire, right? Yeah. It's like wire. That's very odd for a pallet. I'm gonna look that thing up for price. Indoor wire for your home, it looks like. I've hodgepodge, you get all kinds of weird, random stuff you never get before. Stuff like this that I'll probably never see again in a pallet ever again. So brand new, this sells for $35 on Amazon. This item. Yeah. So 50 feet uh, south wire with ground. Residential indoor electrical wire. 50 feet of it. The actual wire itself is still has it's still tied up, still tied down, just the packaging was opened up. So if it sells, what I say, 35? Yeah, like I'd probably do like $20 shipped on it just because I don't know how well this stuff sells, how quickly it sells. 20, I, I'd probably do, because I could actually ship this in like a flat rate envelope for like six bucks. Actually, I could. So yeah, like 20 shipped on that. What's this? Fit King. Air compression leg massager. What are you? Oh, I've sold these before. These actually sell really well. I think the last ones I sold, I sold for around 50 bucks for the Fit King leg massagers. These, this is actually a decent item that sells decently well, actually. 
compression leg massager and it appears to be like it's still factory packaged hasn't been used yet so that's even better so yeah it's probably 40 50 bucks man so hodgepodgey turbo torch extreme hand torch self-lighting hand torches are dangerous or fun kids don't play these at home don't do it adults don't play these at home Tell myself that too. Clint, don't, don't, don't you play with this after the video, even though you're tempted. Don't do it. So, 10, 15 bucks maybe. Oh, I've, I received this in the pal before, the Life Straw personal water filter. This thing has been opened up. The last one I also received was opened up. So, it's probably been used, tried out. But these things sell for pretty decent money. I think they sell for like 30 bucks or so. Where you literally just drink out of like the lake or river with this thing. It's great for people who are outdoorsy types. They want to drink just straight out of like... Straight, straight, straight out of the river. Is that a mixer? Yeah. We've got a used dash mixer. Gotta try it out, make sure that thing works also. Cause it did, looks like it's in fantastic shape though. It's got that vintage look to it. That's very popular right now for like the retro kitchen appliances. So that's probably good. If it works, I'll probably try to get about 20 bucks for it. In that range. We <laughs> got a little package of light bulbs, a few dollars. And we have a cup with no straw. So, a few bucks on that. A few things left. Three things left, and that's it. Oh, we've got an Oster. we got a little mixer. These are actually also really good sellers. Come on. Certain things, I, I, I get in pallets. Uh, not all the time, but something like this, whenever I get it, I automatically know that, you know, this is going to be very easy to resell. It's going to be easy, easy money. And the lids and everything are still factory packaged. So this thing is still factory packaged on the inside. So this will be an extremely easy item to sell. So uh, like 25 bucks or so on that. That's freaking awesome. Two things left. We have a brown mystery box from Amazon Warehouse Deals that they retaped. Maybe it's like full of CD cases or something. Something awesome, come on. And we have <laughs> not what I expected. We have a box of reading glasses. Wow, this thing is so hodgepodgey. We've got a box of reading glasses seriously Woo. okay I don't know what to expect this but this is not not what I expected so we got one two three we got four pairs of reading glasses they're all plus 1.75 strength a cleaning cloth and then we got four five six things of little pouches to put your glasses in 10 bucks maybe? I don't know what that. Last thing, this is it. Calypso Whistling Porcelain Kettle. That's kind of cool. That looks kind of awesome. So lids glass not broken. Uh, it might be lightly used, maybe like once or twice. I can't totally tell, but obviously it's not new, new, but it looks like it might have been used like one time, twice. But something like this, like I probably charge like in person pricing, honestly, like 15 bucks or so. So that's what we got. That's all five boxes. That is my hodgepodge palette. The best box, in my opinion, was the first box. Actually, the best item, I think, was the very first item, the Victrola record player that was brand new still in, like, the factory shipping box. That was freaking awesome. 
So all in all, this pallet will be profitable. I will make money. I only paid $129 for all five boxes. So there's going to be a lot of profit made on this. So uh, this is hodgepodge. This is just a pallet of random stuff, of anything, not themed towards pets or themed towards kitchen or themed towards toys. It's got no theme. It's just everything. And these usually go for cheaper prices because it's not really aimed towards one kind of genre of item. So they usually go pretty cheap. And I don't mind buying them because I usually make the most profit, the most ROI off of hodgepodge pallets. So let me know your comments below. What'd you think? What was your favorite item? Let me know. I'm curious. So if there's anything you want to purchase, I leave directions in the description box below of how to contact me through email, send me a screenshot of the item, plus my price I quoted on screen, and send me your email you use for PayPal so I can send an invoice to you and you know, and your zip code so I can figure out shipping if, if I need to charge shipping depending on your location and size of item. You know what I'm saying? Thursday, I haven't decided what kind of video to do yet for Thursday. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do toys or something else, I'll decide. But I've got a cool, hopefully cool, I've got a palette for Saturday for electronics that I paid up for. Hopefully it's a good one. I'm excited to go through that one, open up and record that one. I've got videos all the rest of this week, every day planned out, so don't miss anything. So thank you very much, everybody who watches me on YouTube. I appreciate everybody who watches me. And I'll see you very soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay tuned. I'm out.